वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो यूट्यूब चैनल सो एम डी स्पोक्स पर्सन आर डी थ्री लाइन ऑफ हैजीन कम्प्लीटेड विद आर डी आर एक्स सेवेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड एक्स टी एंड सेवेंटी एट हंड्रेड एक्स टी सो एवे आर डी एन ए थ्री ग्राफिक्स कार्ड वॉट दे वॉन्टेड टू लॉन्च हैज बिन लॉन्च लेट जस्ट सी वॉट ही सेज इन द क्लिप launched a 7700 and the 7800 XT. Yes. Is that going to complete the RDNA 3 portfolio or is there maybe more on the horizon? <laughs> uh well the RDNA 3 portfolio is now complete. So, uh of all the products that we have planned to launch, uh that is this is the the last few products that we will launch. During the same interview when asked whether there will be a refresh or there will be RDNA 3.5 or something like that, Scott Ackerman said something very interesting though he alerted that there might be a possibility let's just see what he says some different versions um but they're not 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 a new ASIC if you will so judging from that there might be 7950 XT or something like that in the works next up we have some news regarding Intel Core i9 like i9 not but all of the 14th general lineup with its pricing and stuff and it's coming from directly from Momo and the score US so it's trustworthy and as for the pricing the pricing is set to be increased from like 13% to for low end like i3 from 13% as high as 15% to i9 which is a bama we know like that core lineup new batching will start from 15 series but not for 14 and 14 is looking bad because if there is a price hike of that 15% as you can see on the screen here it will be a bama because msi accidentally re- leaked the not like but msi accidentally revealed the performance chart of the cpus and it looks bad because according to them it's only 3% increase compared to 13th gen only i7 is seeing a multi core increase but single core is still bad so judging from it it looks bad ryzen will be preferable if this goes through even though it's a refresh it 3% is pretty mediocre like yeah what is going on and lastly for today we have some news regarding stafil or mostly regarding fsr we talked about it like why fsr titles doesn't support tlss and the head chief of the software team for amd claims that they are not stopping stuff will from adding frank azo said that they are not stopping anything anyone to use dlss from adding nvidia dlss like if they want to do dlss they have amd's full support but he admits that in general when amd PS publisher to bundle their games with the a new graphics card AMD does expect them to prioritize AMD features in return which is true they should do it but when you think about it FSR is open source software so basically FSR is supported on Nvidia GPUs also even though FSR is not better it's FSR is worse than DLSS but it's still like nice and if the developer implements FSR they don't need to necessarily implement DLSS even though it's better like if they implement dlss it's like 5 to 10% better compared to fsr but when you think about it if they bundle it with dlss then they need to implement fsr for consoles because console hardware uses amd hardware so they still need to support fsr even though they are supporting dlss but when they implement fsr in their software in their games or something like that then you then don't need to implement dlss per se because nvidia gpus are also supported by fsr So judging from it AMD has played it cards pretty good making FSR an open source and supported by the long generation of GPUs. So yeah it's pretty nice and let's just see how FSR 3 looks like because according to early rumors which are going on FSR 3 is also supported by Nvidia's GPUs and as low as Navi or RDNA 1 GPUs also so FSR 3.0 is looking pretty good. because frame generation is they said like nvidia said is only for rtx 40 series because they support tensor but if this goes through and if rdna 1 and also rtx 20 series is supported by fsr 3 then frame generation doesn't need need extra cores or something like that but it's just a rumor take it with a pinch of salt but that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out